What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're gonna be doing the framing for a coffered ceiling. And for this we chose to use two by eights because the material that we build pretty much all of our trim work out of is stock material. So we're using one by four, one by six, one by eight. Anytime we're gonna frame for something like this, we're just gonna grab two by eights because they're exactly seven and a quarter, just like our one by eight material that's seven and a quarter. So it makes it real easy. So these are two by eight by 12, and we're gonna be using one of these as a beam to screw it to the ceiling, then some blocking. We're gonna sandwich that in with another one of these. Pretty easy concept, but we'll go ahead and do it. We already got our, our measurements for our first two beams. And this is a 12 footer, like I mentioned, they're just under 12 foot, so it'll be perfect. 137 eighths. Alright, so we got our first board cut right here and basically I'll show you what we're going to do with this off cut. We're just going to put a blocking like that and then sandwich that in with another one of these exact boards right here and then just screw them into each other. But we're not going to sandwich that in until we get this first portion at least put up in the ceiling because we want to be able to get our impact gun up in between these blockings without having to you know, worry about this board that's going to be like this. You'll see what I'm talking about. Now, if you notice on that first cut, hey, there's a lot of staples in this thing. I didn't cut the factory edge on that first cut I made because it really doesn't matter. It's just gonna get pushed into the wall and there's a little bit of wiggle room there because I don't make it exactly perfectly tight so we're not scraping up the walls when we put it in. But for this one, I will for the blocking. So now that I have two of these pieces of blocking cut, I gotta cut a bunch of them obviously, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make that deal right there. And then we'll have plenty of anchor points when we nail in our one by eights here and our one by eight here. Obviously we can nail into all this. And then we can hit these blockings with our 18 gauge nails. And then we'll have a build out to basically wrap this thing in one by eights. Also, I'll mention real quick, if someone's wondering how accurate this, you know, pencil line stop block is, these are the ones I've been cutting and they're pretty accurate. As long as I get on that pencil line there, it's pretty flush all the way across this. I have these two boards cut. Obviously this is just one. I'll bring the other one over here in a second because before I bring that one over here, I need to lay out where I want these pieces of blocking. Now obviously I want to have one on the end over there. I'll go ahead and put one there because it makes sense. And then let's say if I want four of these, I can just kind of eyeball it. I mean this really doesn't have to be perfect. The whole purpose of these blockings is to build it down and then to have something to nail our trim boards into. If you wanted to get precise with it, just measure the distance here, however many blocks you want, divide it. But you can generally just eyeball it, it's not a big deal. No one's ever gonna see it. So that looks about right to me. Then I can just bring the other board and then put it right on top of this. Pretty much what I'm going to do is just flush these ends up 
so this needs to come a little bit more this way and I'll just make sure these two are flush and then I can just nail these on and flush them up just by feel with my hand. Now for this, I'm just gonna use the 15 gauge finish nailer just to hold it in place and then I'll just come back with two screws. That way the nails at least hold it. It's kind of like a clamp without using a clamp so it doesn't move around while I'm sitting here messing with it. So now that we have this first one built, we're gonna build the rest of them the exact same way. And really, it's, since it's gonna be like a grid layout, like most conference ceilings are, you got this kind of tic-tac-toe pattern. We're gonna have to build one more that's exactly this size right here. Then we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six more smaller sections that are gonna be built just like this. So now we have our two, you know, side pieces that are going to go on the sides of these two main beams. Now we need to get the center pieces in. And this is a unique coffered ceiling. We're not going to have a perimeter beam. So you can have a coffered ceiling that's basically like, like a tic-tac-toe pattern is what I call it. Just this grid of two parallel lines. Or you can have it where you have this plus a perimeter beam, which would be basically like this going all the way around the room as well. But we're not gonna have that here. The unique thing about this one is that these are gonna be shorter and the middle one's gonna be longer. So it's not gonna be an exact split of the room, if you will. But it's gonna look nice and now we need to make those longer ones for in here. We need to make two of them, one for up there and then one for here. All right, so now you can see a little bit better the way this is going to be. We got these shorter ones here. Of course, the two long ones that we made at the beginning. This longer section here. And then the same thing on this side. So this is just laid out right now, roughly how it's going to be. These aren't exactly spaced where we want them. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the rough framing for this. We already have the joist lines marked. We snapped the lines for the joist. So now it's essentially, oh, also we snapped the lines for the placement of all these beams. So now it's essentially just holding them up on our lines and then finding those joist lines and then screwing them in with those same wood screws that we screwed these together with. We got our first piece of framing up here and it's just loosely in here with these toggle bolts. So basically what it is, it's this long bolt with this kind of T shape on it. Once we drill, through our framing, through the drywall, and we put these through, once it passes, it opens back up like that. And when we tighten it down, it just clamps it. This allows us to maneuver it perfectly without having to just have it in our hand and screwing it up all on the first try. So these are really convenient. 
These are some heavy duty toggle bolts. We're just gonna use these to position it. You can see this is kind of free floating right now. And I can see my pencil lines, and then I can just kind of ease it over to my, or not pencil lines, my snap lines. And just ease it over as I guide this. Then we'll just kind of just snug those down. We don't want to tighten them too tight because that's just drywall. And then we'll screw in to our frame. So what we're going to do here is the same thing we did outside. We're going to tack it up with 15 gauge so we don't have to sit there and fight with it. And then we'll screw it in with the wood screws. All right, there we are guys. That's the framing, rough framing for the coffin ceiling. And I think it's looking really good. We've got this kind of bigger square in the middle, rectangular rather. It actually looks like a square, but it is rectangular. And then these smaller ones in the corner and these kind of longer coffers here in the middle of the sides. And before we go, I just want to make sure this stuff is in there pretty good. So, yeah. This stuff is good. That's in good shape, but I'm not so sure about me. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. We're about to head out, done for the day. We're just gonna get that framing done today. And like I said, tomorrow we'll trim this out, the framing that we did today, and should be a pretty smooth day tomorrow. We are gonna be putting tongue and groove, V groove on the ceiling. So it's gonna be the V groove pattern, tongue and groove boards. But other than that, it'll be one by eights, crown, and I think that's it, crown around the perimeter. But thanks for watching. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll see you on the next video when we're trimming out this uh, coffered ceiling here. See y'all next time. Take care.